Hello everybody, welcome back. It's a nice day and uh, it's final time to fly this VQH King Nexa Pyokla, whatever you want to call it, Tiger Moth. And uh, the build was really easy, even I could do it. Uh, I've done these uh, boards just to keep the wings holding together. I did put these magnets on the battery hatch, made it a little bit easier. And uh, well, what can I say? It's a beautiful build. That's my GD Rex 6 assist. I try to put the antennas on in uh, their position, but uh, I actually lost some signal, too much signal even. And uh, I used the slave receiver for a while, but after putting them there and the antennas up there, I removed the slave receiver. I don't think I need it. So <clears throat> it's a 6S setup using a Spectrum 5000 as always. It's the only ones I've got. I've got an 80 amp uh, ESC underneath there somewhere. So the high tech 485 HB standard servos for ailerons, uh, no, elevator and rudder and a smaller BB servers, servos for the ailerons up there I used the standard servo horns, uh, control horns just Put a lot of good glue on this side and on this side, and it seems to hold just fine. Normal CA glue. So I'm gonna assemble this one, and uh, I'll be right back. Dear God, it's a pussy. I love it. Look at it. Uh, seems I've got a little bit of down trim to do, but up trim, even. Not much. I got 200 grams behind the moto motor and uh, the CG is at uh, 109 millimeter. Mid up. Mid up. Let's see if we can land this one in one piece as well. That was awesome. This model is rock solid. I love it. It's beautiful. <clears throat> Don't like wind much though, but I guess it's just some uh, getting used to.
Well, Week, you did a great job with this one. It's got an absolutely beautiful model. Well built, no hassles to. Oh, it's a bit bouncy though. <laughs> well, I'm happy. See you around next time. It's. Yeah. This one is an awesome model.